I just want to come back to this for a, a, a minute, and then I want to look at some kinetic energy stuff in a minute as well. Um, If I told you that there's a couple of different classifications for conservation of momentum problems, and one was a conservation of momentum problem where things uh, hit each other and then somehow bounce off of each other. One was a collision that, that uh, involves things hitting each other and then they stick together. And another one was one where things start off stuck together and then end up going apart from one another. Which one would you say this one is? I yeah, started off stuck together. If people want to stick names to these things, maybe this one's called a, uh, an explosion conservation momentum problem. That's a, as good a name as any. So we could say that this is an explosion class problem. This is definitely sort of an explosion, and a, a patty cake explosion. Okay? Maybe. Maybe. That's, a, that's an explosion I want to be a part of. Maybe. Anybody seen Roger Rabbit? No. Oh, never mind then. It is really old, yeah. My sister used to like to watch that show quite a lot. All right, patty cake. Let's talk conservation of energy with patty cake. If I talk about EK, what would EK before be here? Must be zero, right? Because we've got one half m a v a squared plus one half m b v b squared. So can you really talk about this in terms of like a, a collision conservation of energy? Probably not, because the, the energy before starts off as zero. The energy had to come from somewhere. So the energy likely came from where? What, what was the mechanism that energy came from? Kinetic? What? Like the rollerblades? Might, might have been chem chemicals probably a pretty good one, because they're talk we're talking about these people doing the pushing, right? So maybe some sort of biochemical potential energy that was stored up in their muscles, maybe their fat cells or something like that. We'll have to talk to the biology people about that one. So we'll, we'll defer to biology and chemistry for that. But it was potential energy of some sort, just not the EG that we typically talk about in physics with this sort of classical mechanics thing. Maybe a little more complicated. EG before is going to be 0, though, because these guys are equal to 0. Let's talk about, sorry, EK, sorry. Let's talk about EK after. And specifically, I want to talk about EKA primed. So 1 half MVA primed, and I'm going to put the primed in brackets so we don't think that it's VA to the power of 12 or something stupid like that. VA primed squared, okay? Because that little ticky could look like a, a 1 maybe. We'll plug in our values, and we said that, if I bring in my, my givens from before, we said that VA primed was equal to 5 meters per second, so 1 half, well, what was MA again? 100 kilograms? 1 half times 100 kilograms times 5 <coughs> meters per second squared. And we can do that. Yes, sir. Sorry, I, I, I sort of missed that stuff because I was like checking things through with my head. Kind of yeah. So why are we calculating that? Well, no, no reason, just doing it for fun. This is before or after? This is after. Solved? This is or EKA primed. So e like this, no, um, did we solve already for VB primed? Oh, yes, we did. We, we solved for that. VB primed was uh, primed. negative now 10 meters per second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just for fun. We could probably do this in our heads though too. 5 squared 25, 25 times 100 is 2500. 2500 divided by 2 is 1250. 1250 joules. Any positive or negatives associated with that one? Nope. Just for kicks, let's do EK B primed. Maybe you guys can beat me to it, okay? I, I'm going to try and write it as quickly as I can, but maybe you guys could beat me to it. Negative 10 meters per second is squared, so the negative disappears anyway. It really wasn't even worth writing in there. Yep. You got it? Okay, what's the final answer? Uh, 2,500 joules. 2,500 joules. 
All right. So here's what I want to ask you. How much energy was supplied to this system by the patty cake friends? You add them together. Oh yeah, but energy is not a vector. Energy is a scalar. So if I want to know how much energy they supplied to the patty cake system, how much energy did one get? How much energy did the other get? And we're not even talking about dynamics and what the forces must have been, because we don't know anything about that sort of stuff. But I mean, we could explore it in that direction. We won't though. So we could say, E total, or change in energy total, because obviously the initial kinetic energy was equal to zero. Change in kinetic energy must be equal to EKA primed plus EKB primed, oopsie, EKB primed, which in this case is, well, 2,500 plus 1,250, what's the 3,750, something like that? Yep. Okay. 3,750. Yeah, 3,750 joules. Again, if we took it to three sig figs, it would still be 3,750 joules of patty cake, pop, no, not power, energy. We'd have, what would we have to know if we wanted to know patty cake power? Yeah, we'd, we'd have to know how much time it took for these patty cake players to get their patty cake energy up. So if, if we knew that it was one second that the patty cake energy was generated within, uh, patty cake power would be a really easy calculation. We just divide this by one second, and then you get uh, 3,750 watts of patty cake power. And then you could, maybe you could do something useful like that, like run a small city, or I don't know.